1,227 pounds. It's really nice. Though. Other hand. My mom, she may be opinionated and thinks she's always right. I like that full princess. So you want this princess dress. I think we should definitely go towards those dresses. Also, how much is this one? OK, we've gone slightly over budget with this one. Okay. It's <laughs> oh, oh, you want tears <laughs> yeah. as well? If it's a dress, they would be crying. Number five, a battle for the perfect wedding dress. Bride Anna Wynne has grand visions for her dream wedding, and naturally, the wedding dress must align perfectly with those plans. However, a clash of financial priorities arises as her mother Gaynor insists on a budget of 500 pounds. My mother-in-law-to-be, Lee, and my bridesmaid and sister-in-law-to-be, Chloe. How much is that one? But if Anna would be happy with a sample gown, instead of a new one made to order, I might be able to find one in our stock room. Undeterred, Anna is willing to contribute an additional £1,000 of her own money to make her vision a reality. The first dress option is unquestionably favoured by Anna's mother in terms of both style and cost. Although Anna is not smitten with it, she agrees to give it a chance. Unfortunately, it fails to impress anyone, prompting even her mother to consider another option within the £500 limit. One of our style gowns as well. So that is the £500 one. Oh, that'd be definitely good for her to see. Perfect for okay. more, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous in that dress. Oh, do I think you should definitely get it cheap. It's maybe a bit yes. lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> there are other uh, dresses, cheap dresses. Dress number two, on the other hand, is a breathtaking romantic gown crafted from a delightful blend of lace and flowing satin. Its figure-hugging and gracefully fluid silhouette receives unanimous praise from everyone involved, except for Anna's mother, who remains fixated on a bygone era. In the ongoing battle between logic and desire, the heart prevails when it comes to a bride's journey down the aisle. And this time, Anna has emerged victorious in this round. It's the exact style that I wanted. Yeah. And I do feel like it's flattering and it's it's really nice. Yeah. We can't be too ex. Look at her. She looks yes. No. You look beautiful. And I think we... I'm going to say yes to the dress. Yay. Number four, A Bride's Dilemma. Stephanie Blaker, the bride in search of a timeless yet affordable gown, finds herself at odds with her mother's insistence on a princess-like ensemble. This clash of strong-willed individuals sets the stage for a classic battle where both mother and daughter take opposing corners of the ring. The ultimate question remains, who will emerge victorious? It appears that the budget holds the upper hand. Meanwhile, Phyllis Blaker has raised a dutiful daughter who is willing to sacrifice her own dreams to please her mother. And to Randy, the expert who aims to fulfill both the bride's and her mother's desires, serving their dreams on a silver platter. Hello. So when is the wedding? It's Black Friday. The kick off the Christmas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want it to be like the... I would love to see her in a princess dress. Oh, Without delay, Stephanie is adorned in the first dress option, a perfect fit for the princess theme. The bodice captivates with its exquisite white and gold embellishments, hugging her figure before cascading into a beautifully gathered A-line skirt. The bride is undoubtedly impressed, except for one crucial factor, the budget. Before reaching a final decision, they venture to explore dress number two, a complete contrast to the first option. It exudes a soft, romantic charm featuring delicately laced sleeves attached to a snug-fitting bodice that gracefully flows into a slender A-line skirt. Then, dress number three comes into play, potentially holding the key to Stephanie's ideal gown. As the bride prepares to sacrifice her own desires, her mother unexpectedly steps in to save the day. With no time to waste, Stephanie once again dons dress number one, hoping that her dreams might finally come true. And on this day, it appears that they have been granted. Wow. <laughs> That's really pretty. Wow. It's really pretty. I really I like, it. like it. I think I love it. You think you love yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, you know no, I, as I was looking at it, I just got happier and happier and happier. How do we feel? <laughs> <laughs> 
Number three, Bargain Bride. Tracy, the bride with a vision of a winter wonderland-themed wedding, enters Kleinfeld's doors in search of the perfect gown. Randy and Paula, the dynamic duo, eagerly embark on the task of bringing her dreams to life. Little do they know the trap that awaits them. For Tracy possesses a remarkable superpower, the ability to seek out incredible bargains. And she has set her sights on the renowned Kleinfeld Boutique. Bride for Paula because Paula is like sugar and spice and everything nice and the holidays all warm. Nice and big on the bottom. <gasps> As Tracy slips into the first dress, her eyes well up with tears of joy. The gown is adorned with sparkling embellishments, gracefully cascading from the sweetheart neckline to the billowing ethereal skirt. She believes she has found the one, leaving Randy astonished when she insists on trying on more dresses. Back to the changing room they go in pursuit of the perfect match. Dress number two serves only one purpose. It crystallizes Tracy's desires for a princess-worthy gown. Determined to fulfill her wish, Randy escorts her to the racks, allowing her to personally choose from the available sale items. To her astonishment, Tracy stumbles upon a dress that surpasses her expectations. It feels like an early Christmas gift, as this exquisite gown is not only what she envisioned, but is also offered at a remarkable half-price discount. Try on something also with like tight fitting lace. I feel beautiful. They're crying, they're happy. It's like, okay, we're done. Did any other dress give you this feeling? With sheer delight, Tracy seals the deal, knowing she is going home with a breathtaking dress in hand, the epitome of her winter wonderland dreams. Number two, Mum's Concerns. Jade finds herself in a dilemma as she falls in love with a dreamy dress and envisions her perfect wedding, only to face resistance from her mother Heather. Determined to resolve this conflict, Jade seeks the expertise of Gok, who possesses the magic touch to untangle the mess. Gok, the master of fashion makeovers, embarked on a mission to completely disrupt Jade's vision for her wedding attire. With his keen eye for style and his flair for the unexpected, he set out to challenge Jade's preconceived notions and leave her utterly speechless. And so, Gok began by carefully selecting a gown that stood in stark contrast to Jade's dreams. The gown he chose was a masterpiece, crafted from the finest raw silk with a highly structured design. Its clean lines and architectural elements accentuated Jade's slender figure in unexpected and alluring ways. Being in love with Disney particularly from being a really, really, really small girl. Slightly fishtailed, it's got this incredible train on it. I didn't expect in a million years to. As Jade caught a glimpse of herself in the mirror, her breath caught in her throat. She was captivated by the reflection staring back at her, a vision she never thought she would embrace. But the transformation did not stop there. Gok's genius went beyond just changing Jade's mind. He managed to sway Heather's opinion as well. Heather, initially skeptical of Gok's unconventional approach, found herself pleasantly surprised by the stunning gown that adorned her daughter. She couldn't help but express her newfound admiration, candidly sharing her likes and dislikes with Gok. Undeterred by Heather's feedback, Gok knew he had succeeded in capturing Jade's attention. With his unwavering determination to make her feel extraordinary on her special day, he presented her with another gown, this time adorned with delicate lace. The gown retained the same silhouette that had intrigued Jade earlier, but now it incorporated the intricate beauty of lace to address her lingering doubts. As Jade slipped into the lace-adorned gown, she marveled at how Gok had managed to understand her desires and translate them into a tangible work of art. The gown embraced her like a second skin, accentuating her curves with grace and elegance. Every intricate detail spoke to her individuality and style, leaving her with a newfound confidence. However, Jade's uncertainty remains evident, and Gok discerns the underlying reason behind it. Employing his genius, he dresses Jade in a sophisticated princess gown. 
Unfortunately, this choice fails to garner approval from Heather, resulting in Jade retreating to the changing room once again. But this time, she emerges in dress number two, accompanied by an overskirt that combines the elements of a glamorous gown and a princess silhouette. Finally, a dress is discovered that resonates with both the bride-to-be and her mother, eliciting sheer delight. Two. Three. Oh, wow. I really like this dress. Throw it out the castle window. Did I tell you that my mum was brutal? <laughs> Number one, prioritizing style within budget constraints. Abby Sear dreams of a wedding dress that exudes elegance and sparkle, but her budget falls short of her extravagant desires. She envisions a dress that stands out even from a distance, captivating the entire wedding party. Not good job. A brilliant princess is extra sparkly and extra glittery. You might look at you have less food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, young lady, you need to go off to the dressing room. David Emmanuel and Gemma are faced with the challenge of fulfilling Abby's dreams within her financial constraints. While her mother Ruth Pollen generously covers the cost of the dress, dress number one, adorned with lace from top to bottom, fails to capture Abby's heart as she yearns for a touch of bling. Is it yeah. enough sparkle? Abby is all about the sparkles. This dress, it's okay, but I'm just not feeling Dress number two, on the other hand, reveals too much for Abby's comfort, making her hesitant to even step out of the dressing room, let alone walk down the aisle. Finally, dress number three, a stunning lacy fishtail gown that beautifully accentuates Abby's curves, presents a price tag of £1,200, allowing David's team a budget of approximately £1,000 to add to the desired bling to make Abby's heart sing. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.